Starting version 23.5 in Photoshop, you might start to notice this nice little arrow next to select subject. Now, what does it do? Now you have two options for select subject. One processes it on device and the other one does it on the cloud. So let's see if the cloud one is a little better or it's worse. Let's test it. We're going to throw in a lot of images. Let's start with this one. This has a very complicated background. So for the left hand side, let's process it on the cloud. So make sure the cloud is selected and then we're going to click on select subject. Now it's going to take a little while because it's going to send the image to the cloud. Then it's going to process it. I don't know what's ha what happens, but it will take a while. So this looks pretty nice considering how difficult the background was. Now click on the mask button and we can create a black background by creating a solid color adjustment layer or you can use the Piximperfect compositing plugin. Now inside of masking, just click on one of the contrast layers. It will happen automatically. It can also remove background automatically. Anyway, too much of cheap marketing. Let's go to this one and let's this time do it on device. Make sure device is selected. By default, it will be. You can change the defaults later. We're going to get to that. So for now, let's click on select subject and now click on the mask button and then let's create a black background. And there you go. Look at the stark difference. It didn't even notice some of the areas. So we do need a big brain. That is the cloud brain, AI brain to make sure that all of the subject is selected. But is it the whole story? Does it work better in all of the images? Let's find out. We have a variety of images to make sure that you, my friend, are not left out depending upon the kind of photos you work with. We have animals, we're going to do products, we're going to do faces. So let's start with this one. Also, we want to make sure that we help improve Adobe. So for the left hand side, on the cloud. And for the right hand side, we'll do it on the device. If you want to set something as default, because right now, even though I processed it on the cloud, if you go to this one or any other image, if you click on the drop down, you will see that the default has again gone back to device. Even if you come back to this one, have a look. It's a device even though we processed it with cloud. So if you want to set something as default, you need to go to edit and then preferences. If you're using a Mac, that would be under Photoshop and then preferences. Inside of that, go to image processing and set one of those as defaults. So for now, I have set device as default. You can also set cloud as default. It's all up to you. So hit OK for now. This, my friend, is a cloud selection. So let's mask it out. And I'm going to do the same very quickly for you for the right hand side as well with device. So after we have put them in black backgrounds, let us compare. As you can clearly tell that the cloud version has considered the fur right here. However, the device version didn't see any of that. You can of course improve it by selecting the mask, then going inside of select and mask. And then of course you can click on refine hair. That does it. Hit OK. There you go. You have the fur now chosen. But with the cloud, it does it outright. So there's a difference. Now we cannot ignore that select subject has improved a lot over the years. And recently it does a fantastic job with hair. In this case, will cloud make a difference? Let's go ahead and check that. So as always, on the left hand side, we have the cloud and on the right hand side, we have the device versions. So let's quickly make selections. By the way, if you're using the Piximperfect compositing plugin and you click on remove background, whatever you have set it to default, whether it's cloud or device will be used. So my default is local processing. So for the cloud version, we have to make that change right here, cloud, and we have to manually do it. There you go. We're going to create a mask and then let's create a black background. Now, similarly with the device version, since this is the default, we can just use the panel. Again, cheap marketing. Click on remove background. That's all. And then click on black. There you go. Done. Now, in this case, the tables are turned a little bit. For the most part, it is very similar. If you compare it on the left hand side, by the way, if you want to synchronize the zoom, let's go to the magnifying class tool right there, the zoom tool right there. And then you want to make sure that you check zoom all windows. Now, when you zoom in, it equally zooms in the other windows as well. For the most part, they are very, very similar. Let's see this part right here. All right. However, if you look at the details closely right here, the device one captures more hair. Let's zoom out. Let's take a look at the top here. You will be able to see the difference. Look at the top. Look at right here. See? The cloud has clearly captured less hair in comparison to the device or the local processing version. So make of it what you may, but when it comes to hair selections and some cases, the local one would be a little better. But again, keep in mind for the most part, it's hard to even tell the difference. What I've noticed from all of these tests is that in not so conventional scenarios or challenging scenarios, the cloud processing may work better, but that's not always 100% of the time. Now let's take a look at products. Again, we have chosen images which are very, very challenging. White kettle on a white background. So on the left hand side, we have this time 
the device processing so make sure the device is checked it is the default that is why it would be checked by default unless you choose the cloud one if you apply it next time it will be set to device by default now to save time i have already done it on the left hand side we have the device on the right hand side we have the cloud and as you can clearly see take a look the device one has e completely eaten up this area but look at the cloud version it has done a much better job of that even if you look at the bottom right here the device one doesn't have a sense of how a kettle should look but the cloud processing version take a look at it it seems like it has more brain it knows how to think so that is the basic difference right here and if you want to put it into perspective it seems like the cloud version has more brains it has more intelligence but it can be a little lazy sometimes when it comes to selecting hair the device processing is faster is more dedicated but has a little less intelligence so you can think of it that way now i have a little suggestion for adobe i might be entirely wrong this might sound stupid might not make sense this is just my view so right next to select subject we have this option we have this drop down to choose which one we want to choose for processing whether it's on the cloud or device right so let's say we choose cloud right now if we click on select subject it's going to process on the cloud of course and it's going to make that selection however what if we want to process a series of images just on cloud and then get back to series of images that we want to use the device version so right now i apply that but if we click on that drop down again it goes back to device why because that is set as default in the preferences so instead of having that drop down what if we have this option in the open just like this so whatever is activated it will be processed that way and it will continue to be processed that way unless we choose the other one and since it's in the open we can clearly see which process is being used that way we don't have to go to preferences again and again to change it according to our preferences and the kind of images that we are working with for instance a very simple example would be let's say we choose the clone stamp tool and we create a layer and we start cloning by holding the alt key or the option key click and paint all right so right now the sample is set to current and below and it will continue to work that way unless we change it and it's out in the open and we can see that if we change it to only current layer only the current layer would be sampled and nothing else so having the option right in the open just like this prevents us first of all from going into preferences again and again and choosing a default and number two we can clearly see which one is activated once we apply select subject so that was just a suggestion it might not make sense it might not be worth doing either way it was just my view thank you so much for watching i hope this video helped and if it did make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss any other future tips tricks or tutorials i would like to take this moment to thank all of these nice and amazing people for supporting pix imperfect on patreon and helping keep pix imperfect free for everybody forever thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating